So today we're going to be doing I'm going to be doing a meditation practice, and um, and really at the moment I, I feel that the meditation practice is very much about trying to get out of our headspace and back into our heart space. Um, these monumental shifts in our in our extraordinary circumstances are calling on a lot of logistics and um, planning and. And we're really able to do that. We're really capable, adaptable human beings. But after a while, that severing from heart space can feel a little bit harsh. So we're going to soften, we're going to open, we're going to drop into the heart, we're going to bring lightness and space into our bodies. That is the plan. Wellbeing rituals are my absolute passion because I think that when I was um, when I had newborn babies, I was doing an Ashtanga practice and it was probably an hour and a half every day that I felt I should be doing my yoga practice. And in amongst, um, in amongst the sort of pressure of being a new mum and, um, and really not being in that good a positive place, this additional thing of I must get on my mat and do my yoga practice for an hour and a half became a, a massive um, additional weight on my shoulders. And um, so much so that I turned away from it and just stopped doing it altogether and got into a, a really bad space, a really dark space and realised eventually that all I needed to do was take one breath on my mat and maybe then I would feel a little bit stronger and a little bit better. So the point with the wellbeing ritual is 20 minutes a day. If you just do 20 minutes a day of tuning in, you get a little bit more connected to that internal landscape that is super, super resilient and um, super able to cope with whatever's thrown at you. And um, the content of a wellbeing ritual can be whatever works for you. So we do at 8 a.m. every morning, we're doing a different practice. So on a Monday, we'll do breath work, on a Tuesday, yoga. Wednesday, we do meditation, Thursday, yoga, and then Friday, we do a little choir party. Um, so there you are, there's the basics of the wellbeing ritual. And I, I do them at 8 a.m. every morning for free, and I, I hope that they are a helpful resource for loads of people. Okay, so you wanna be sitting in a place where you are comfortable with your spine straight. You can, of course, lie down. You don't have to be sitting up, but personally, I prefer to sit up because I'm very prone to falling asleep otherwise. So if you are sitting up, hold, put your hands on your knees. That gives you a little bit more support to get your spine straight. And let's do some circles in our shoulders to get rid of any tension. And really and truly, I, I want you to understand there's no way you can do this wrong. And as long as you're sort of seeking out the way to make it feel good, then inevitably you are doing exactly what your body needs. You can trust the senses, you can trust the sensitivity, the tone of your body to tell you if what you're doing is, is supporting you or not. Okay, let's take right ear to right shoulder. Drop chin down to chest and take left ear to left shoulder and come up and over. And then go the other way, left ear to left shoulder. Drop chin down to chest. Right ear to right shoulder and coming up and over. And then let's bring fingertips to shoulders and take some circles with the elbows. So inhaling as you come up and round and back and down. And then with hands on knees, take some little circles with your heart. So the holding onto the knees gives you a bit of anchorage so you can lean back and pull forwards. And then change direction. So nothing is at war with anything else. So your body is working with your, your breath, your breath is working with your mind, your mind is working with your heart. What we're really doing is bringing everything into balance and equilibrium rather than giving any one area dominance. But when you're meditating, for me, the movement is really a beautiful thing. I know lots of meditation disciplines want you to sit still. That's not how I practice meditation. So you may find that as you meditate, your spine wants to move, you may want to rock forwards and back. All of that is allowed. Try to keep the shoulders away from the ears. Try to keep the breath long and smooth. Drop the eyelids. 
let's start with three breaths to really connect us and ground us. So breathing in through the nose, First breath out through the mouth. Breathing in through the nose. And really give it some welly as you exhale to ground and root yourself. Breathing in through the nose, third time. Exhaling out through the mouth. And taking your awareness to your face, let the breath come in and out through the nose and feel the space around your nose and allow it to soften. Feel the space across the eyes, the corners of the eyes, the corners of the mouth, the lips, cheeks, bringing some softness into the tongue, spacious, and feeling into the space around the ears, the intricacies of the internal ear and the space around the external. And feeling to the back of the head, the chin might drop very slightly towards the chest so that you get even more space in the neck between the vertebrae. At any time, any wriggling that feels good, just take that and enjoy. We're trying to find sweetness rather than any kind of struggle. And let that openness and softness drop down into your heart space. Maybe turning the palms of your hands to face upwards. Feeling softness in the palms. And feeling softness in the soles of the feet. And aware of the space around your body, this perimeter of your skin, and allowing that boundary to soften. And feeling into the space inside the internal landscape and allowing a softness and openness, a light to expand within. And we're going to do a little light scan through the body. See if you can keep the inhale up and in through the nose. And as you exhale, maybe letting the exhale be even longer than the inhale, breathing out through the nose. So the exhale is a very deliberate resource. We're using the exhale to let go, to surrender, to release and relax a little deeper. I'm taking your awareness to the left palm of your hand, imagining you're holding a golden ball of light in that hand. And maybe with the imagination sense, you're able to feel warmth, openness, softness as that light moves up through the palm to the wrist, the forearm and elbow upper arm, coming up into the shoulder and across the collar, and down into the heart space. Beautiful golden light. Bringing your awareness to the palm of your right hand, 
imagining a golden ball of light. And sense or imagine the feeling of that golden ball of light in the palm of your hand. And let that light spread up to your wrist and forearm, elbow, right the way up into the shoulder and armpit, across the collar and into your heart. So the upper body has this very definite movement of light saturating from the fingertips to the heart, saturating every cell. And as your awareness tunes into your heart space, allow that space to grow and expand. The more light, the more expansive the heart space is. And using the exhale to release any obstacles. And then taking your awareness down to the soles of your feet. And let's begin with the right foot, imagining a golden ball of light. On the sole of the right foot and letting that light spread up through the toes. The very many tiny bones and muscles of the foot into the heel, ankle, letting your imagination sense feel the movement of light up through the shin, into the knee, all the way around the thigh, front and back, inner and outer. And coming up into the hip joint, all the intricacies of the hip joint. Coming into the pelvis. And taking your awareness to the sole of the left foot. Imagine, imagining, visualizing a golden ball of light on the sole of the left foot. Allowing that light to spread and travel up through the ankle, the heel, calf and shin. into the knee, all the way around the thigh, front and back, inner and outer, right the way into the hip joint, allowing that warmth and light to travel into the pelvis. And now there is this strong band of light and warmth and spaciousness traveling right the way from the toes up into the pelvis. And bringing that light from the pelvis, feeling it expand, moving through any nooks and crannies bringing spaciousness as it travels up through the spine, through the digestive system, 
the organs of the torso, the diaphragm, into the heart space, into the lungs. Every fiber, every tissue, feeling the warmth and the light as it spreads up through your neck and your throat, your jaw, through the tongue and the teeth, cheekbones, the intricacies of the skull, the membrane around the brain and the brain itself, all those undulating curves and spaces allowing light to thread through, moving up to the crown. And allowing that saturation of light through every cell of your body. The pulse of your breath, the pulse of that light. Expanding beyond the physical realm, the, the matter of your body. Filling the subtle landscape of you. And with this incredible awareness of sensation, I feel into any areas that are accidentally holding on, any little pockets of narrative or tension and let the light melt that away as you bring a softness and a spaciousness to that space. Notice any part of you that calls to move Allow a smile across your face. It's not a smile that is serving any purpose of communication. It's not for anyone else's benefit. It's a smile that is there because it feels good for you. And bringing your hands up to your heart space allowing the energy of that smile to move through every cell, to ripple out. And knowing with absolute certainty that that beautiful golden light is so much more than an imagined sense. We are that light. And we see it in each other so much more easily sometimes than we see it in ourselves. And bringing your hands together at your heart centre, dropping your chin towards your chest. And we say the word Namaste, the light in me sees the light in you. We say that to everyone here sharing this practice and to every sentient being on this planet. Namaste.